of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To the Christian flag, attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life everlasting for all who believe. And to the Bible, attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. And we'll sing our school alma mater, Minutemen, our emblem. It's to the tune of Like a River Glorious. Let's sing it together. Minutemen, our emblem, colors black and gold. We are marching onward, strong and brave and bold. Training youth for Jesus, trusting God to guide. Each in useful service, tested, proved, and tried. Onward in life's battle, may we ever be faithful to our Savior through eternity. God's own word, our weapon. God's own word, our weapon. Prayer, our daily power. Filled with love and kindness, witnessing each hour. By His grace we labor, triumph for the foe. With our eyes on Jesus, He who loves us. Onward in life's battle. Thank you for joining us, and those you may be seated. Mr. Kramer. would like to officially welcome you to our fall assembly, and uh, this is the first time we've done this in two years, so uh, we're excited to have this opportunity, and I'm amazed at all the parents that showed up, so I want to thank you for coming, and I hope you're enjoying the cooler weather. Uh, it is beautiful outside, and it feels like fall, and so I hope you'll enjoy this performance. Uh, we worked on it yesterday running through different things and uh, the kids are excited they've worked hard and a lot of times people may ask what's the purpose here and really there's a couple things first we want to give the students an opportunity to perform but then also as you listen to the program this morning there is a theme uh, that is everything is centered around and that theme is the salvation of Jesus Christ. So uh, I hope you will enjoy this fall assembly. Let's begin with a word of prayer, and then we're going to hear from our elementary choir. Lord in heaven, we thank you uh, for this opportunity. Uh, Lord, it's been some time since we've had a fall assembly, and uh, Lord, we're thankful that we're able to come together and have this program. Lord, I do ask that uh, you would just bless these groups. Thank you for the abilities you've given them. And uh, Lord, we thank you for the salvation that we have in Jesus Christ. And uh, Lord, we uh, look to you uh, for your return. But Lord, until then, may we be about your business in Jesus' name. Amen.
songs and of course we don't have a program we want you to just focus in on the kids really this morning rather than okay what's the next song okay what is this song and the name of it and all of that I want you to focus on what the kids are doing and, and their performances but the message of the songs and the message of the next two songs is the love of Jesus Christ John 3 16 everybody probably in this room has at least heard it somewhere along the way for God so what's the next word loved the world and how did he show that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus Christ came to this earth to die on the cross for our sins. And that's the message we want to communicate to you, that we can have salvation through Jesus Christ and the love that he has for us. So this group, it's a very simple song that probably many of you have sung in Sunday school. And this is my senior high. I'm going to play Jesus Loves Me. Jesus Loves Me. What a simple, simple thought. But what a, what a just deep truth that we have. And then you'll hear from the senior high choir who will sing how deep the Father's love for us Meditate, think, consider about the love that God has for each one of you.
Well, good morning. And it's been a good morning already. Uh, I've enjoyed this music, enjoy the lineup of the, the words, uh, the songs as they've been moving through, and um, how deep uh, the Father's love for us. Uh, the song we just heard there is There Is a Fountain. And uh, it reminds me in thinking about how all those years, centuries of sacrifices that the Israelites had to make and the shedding of blood for the remission of sins and all of that pointing to Jesus Christ, the ultimate sacrifice, the one-time sacrifice that covered the sins of all of mankind, which we look back to now. And so what a great uh, hymn. And that leads us into the one we're about to do here, which is the Old Rugged Cross. And again, a great hymn. Uh, anybody that's your favorite hymn, the Old Rugged Cross? Okay, several hands, good. Um, my thing about the Old Rugged Cross, though, what a great song and what a great day. Uh, Jesus dying on the cross for our sins, well, for which, if nothing else, I mean, we have nothing. That's our hope right there. And, um, but sometimes, the Old Rugged Cross, we kind of sing it in this sort of slow way, almost in this uh, sad uh, dirge kind of a way that, uh, and, and we kind of get stuck into that, and, uh, but it's actually a great thing to be singing about, the Old Rugged Cross, and so this arrangement, this band arrangement, is going to change that just a little bit, and, uh, and make it a little bit more of an exciting uh, thing with the arrangement of it, but uh, what, what a great day, the day that Jesus died on the cross for our sins, and has given us hope for that, thank you.
as they were singing that song, the word cherish just hit me. Of course, we sing it many, many times. I'll cherish the cross. Do we look at the cross as an object of beauty or an object of shame? Do we look at the cross as something that encourages us maybe to to give that to others, to give that hope that Mr. Lyles was talking about to others? Or is it something that we look at and go, oh, that's so gruesome. The cross is a beautiful thing for those who believe. It's a wonderful thing. And I hope that it has an attraction enough for you to say, I've accepted Christ, but I'm going to tell that, uh, that attraction, so to speak, to others, not just hold it into myself. We live in a dark world, and the cross should be a light that we can give to others. I hope you've been encouraged by the music so far today. And this is our senior high ensemble. They're going to sing about the cross as well, a song called The Cross of Christ, how it gives us justification, how it gives us that, 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 um, that place to stand. The, that surety that we can stand in a dark world that hates Jesus Christ, but we love him. Hope you enjoy this song.
introduce this group. I wasn't intending to, but they, um, they actually have a really tough job right now. All of the senior high played and all of the middle schoolers played and now the elementary kids have to try to figure out where all those bells and chimes are and figure out where they're supposed to be. That's a tough job, it really is. Um, but they're going to play a song called What a Friend We Have in Jesus. And what a, what a wonderful truth that is. Uh, again, an old hymn, but the friend that we have in Jesus is the same one that died on the cross for our sins. But that one who died on the cross for our sins is the one who walks with us and talks with us each and every day. And I hope that as you develop that relationship with Christ, if you've accepted him as your savior, I hope that you do truly look at him as your friend who sticks closer than a brother. If you've never accepted Christ, then you, you don't understand what that friend is and can be to you. And so I hope that you'll, you'll be encouraged by that today, that we have that friend in Jesus Christ. So I think they almost have everything where it should be. Poor Miss Lodge, she's got to get them ready. Some of these kids have only been playing handbells for about two months. So they're going to do a great job. We're looking forward to it, all right? This is, this is our last song, and glad to have been uh, hearing all this music, a wonderful arrangement of what a friend we have in Jesus, and um, just thinking about all that he's done for us, 
and someone that we can go to in any time, anything, uh, and take care of that. We're going to tune the timpanis just a little bit here, but uh, our next song, uh, I was just thinking about um, how, you know, if we leave Jesus on the cross, um, you know, he, he didn't stay there, right? And, uh, and then he was buried in a tomb, but he didn't stay there either. And so our next song is about that resurrection. And what a great song to finish everything on. It's the resurrection that tells us that what Jesus did on the cross was enough. It was perfect. It was satisfactory. It did everything that God the Father wanted and everything that we needed. And so uh, we're glad to end uh, with Christ the Lord is Risen Today. It's a wonderful band arrangement. We enjoy playing it. Hopefully uh, you will enjoy listening to it.
children. Let's give them a good thank you. Do that. We're in a beautiful time of year, autumn, and um, what a place to get your records stuck. They're going to work on this. Is this one working? Okay. And um, all right. Number three. One, two. Okay. I love a shout out.